Hi, my name is Daniel Gostep, and we are here live with Orchid Mantis on hey. today's date of February 20th. How are you guys doing today? Good. Great. Good. Are you guys uh, excited for uh, tonight's show? Oh, yeah. Um, excited for all sorts of reasons. Because last time I played on uh, a different radio station, uh, I was just playing by myself. I wasn't playing with Matt uh, doing drums for me. So that's kind of the first. Oh, wow. Um, is this like... Has this been a development for Orchid Mantis getting uh, Matt as a drummer? Yeah, at just... least at least for the live show. Um, I, I, Matt hasn't played on any recordings yet, but yeah. uh, it's we've something... done four live shows. Yeah, 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 we've done something like four of them. Um, and I mean, I've liked it a lot more, honestly, because it's just opened up like the possibilities with, with what I can do with it. I can kind of jam out more and that yeah. sort of thing. That's really cool. Um, so talk about the band. Um, talk about the name and how mm -hmm. did you uh, get started with the group? Yeah, um, well, this, this all sorts of stuff uh, led me to, to this project. But, like, uh, Orchid Mantis kind of came about uh, mostly because uh, I bought a four-track recorder, like a tape recorder, four-track. Oh, um, that's really cool. Yeah, and and uh, that side, it kind of, like, sh that was kind of how I decided what, like, what the limitations and boundaries would be with, like, Orchid Mantis and kind of what I'd be doing with it. Um and since then, I, I don't record everything in the four track anymore. I've kind of like moved to, to more digital recording and such. But like, uh, it was actually kind of trying to make something sort of uh, lo fi and something more kind of like organic sounding. Because I had I'd listened to a lot of uh, music and, and tried to make my own kind of electronic music with my laptop and such. And like, that was kind of. Uh, I feel like most people they they like grow up playing guitar or whatever, and they like that's kind of they 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 write songs and guitar um, as their primary instrument. But I kind of was like the opposite. Like I played guitar um, all the time, but I played it with a band, and I didn't really write the songs. It was kind of just we would just jam. just more of the function yeah. of being able to play the guitar, and knowing like yeah, these exactly. are the chords that I have exactly. to play for this show. Exactly, it's like it's not about writing the songs and that sort of thing. And so I had been almost doing that kind of thing just by myself on my laptop because I got into electronic music and that sort of thing but uh it was it was a whole idea of buying a four track and and getting into lo-fi music um so talk about um your technique with it for um uh -huh. on your twitter you describe the sound as found sounds tape collages and pop songs about forgetting yeah uh, what are you trying to forget <laughs> <laughs> yeah um I mean, that came about because I was trying to think about what my songs were actually about, and I realized it's kind of scary how many songs are about, like, things that are, like... I find myself writing about loss, and I don't really know why, but I think it's because, I mean, it's one of those things that anyone can relate to, and I think it's I think it happened because I was writing music that sounded sort of nostalgic, and that puts you in that space to talk about things that you miss, kind of. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, from there, it's kind of... I mean, I've branched out more... Um, but I think that, that that's kind of like part of my sound, so so I had to put that in there. But like, uh, as for the, the the things before that, um, honestly, I I think I have to say about that whole description, it's kind of something I try to aspire to because when I started, I wanted to be a lot weirder than I am now, and like I kind of really? started making more like popish stuff and like writing stuff where I could get like drums together and things like that. But like. I think what that kind of speaks to more is that I've always wanted to incorporate uh, much kind of more experimental elements into that sort of songwriting and into something more kind of accessible, I guess. Um, so like found sounds and like tape collage work and like all of these kinds of like uh, more marginal ways of like making sound are, is something that I try to like incorporate into my songs as much as I can. Cool, that's really cool. Um, what are found sounds? Is it just like going around with like a tape mm -hmm. recorder and being like, "Oh, that's nifty." Uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty I'm much. Record that. Uh, um, mm. What are you typically drawn to, or um, what's uh, the circumstances that allow for like a found sound search? Well, yeah, um, it was. It was. I think that uh, I was inspired by a lot of other artists that were kind of putting in all of these kind of like like just ephemeral sounds and like stuff that like their friends would say or like just uh the sounds of certain spaces they were in a lot of the time and things like that and like I honestly when I kind of started writing songs I was kind of like very I, I wasn't like brave and I wasn't like like very proud of what I was making or even like sure of what what I was doing so I kind of like tried to hide a lot of the more specific elements like what is the melody what is the chords I'd like 
I wouldn't even focus on that. I just focus on like what weird sounds can I put in the right. background or whatever. And so that's kind of like what got me using field recordings. But uh, what I kind of searched for was just I, I look for anything that kind of has a, a, a sound that I think can can kind of bring someone to a certain place. It's always about evoking certain spaces with me with field recordings. Um, Cause like, yeah, that, that, that's like, like I said, that's kind of what I hid behind at first. And also just what I kind of, one of the things I really enjoy about music is like uh, all the different ways it can be approached and all the different kind of things you can put into it. You know, I think of it more kind of like collage work than kind of like, I feel like people write songs mathematically. It's just like, what's the best hook, but like, it's more of like this, just amalgam of things for me.
Does um does your experimentation apply towards like uh, your live shows as well, or is it more just a reproduction mm. of the recording it's, or it's, rehashing of uh-huh. it? Uh huh. It's it's really um, about getting as I, I don't really try to get as close to the recording as possible. Um, I think if anything, the the stuff I'm doing on guitar is a lot more important to the live show, and really just the drums too. Now mm-hmm. that we have live drums as well, but um, I think that I think the the other difference with my live shows is I mean, like I said, I can't get um, everything all this kind of small details in there. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot more about like the dynamics of the songs. So I try to stress those as much as I can when I'm playing live because a lot of my songs can be kind of like chill, you know, most right. most of the time. There there's not a often they'll just kind of build or there's not like too many changes, but uh I I know the the really I haven't really been able to get into experimentation. It's something I want to do with my live show. Um but for the most part right now, I've just been focusing on getting like the songs that I've written as, as kind of tight as possible to be able to play live because I, I, I work with like a sampler keyboard that I play with my hands and I work with a sampler that I'm using to loop my guitar that I have at my feet. And so I'm singing and playing guitar and triggering these samples all right. at the same time. And it's like... <laughs> That's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I've gotten really... Uh, I've gotten to the point where I just know the songs by heart so much that I know exactly what to press whenever I'm supposed to press it. But it's it's still like a lot of direct thinking. I can't really lose myself in what mm-hmm. I'm doing or anything. So so that kind of keeps me like grounded in terms of what I can actually add to my live show. I, if, if I got another member perhaps for the live show things would change i think so yeah it's uh something i have in mind or something i've thought about interesting um would you like to talk about playing drums at the live show you're a part of it <laughs> is too what's that process like or um how do you take the music and then uh add on to it well firstly it's extremely fun yeah. um i've always played in other bands but i'm usually writing this is the first time i've ever not written um, really? But I've been a longtime fan of Orchid Manus, and so it was really easy. Tom, Thomas just called me up and was like, do you want a drum? And of course... Yeah, it was just like the, yeah. the what obvious other, um, choice. What other bands had you uh, had you seen them before and before, or you just, under, you just understood the professionalism? Yeah, well, well, we met at a Wonder Root show. He was yeah. doing sound for me, and it was my first show, um, so... And you just kind of like approached me. I think you said I sounded like Panda Bear. Panda Bear, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. And I was like, I was yeah. hoping I, you forgot that. I love Panda Bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, putting you on the spot. Um, but no, uh, and um, we just kind of like hung out a little bit and jammed just because you had yeah. kind of showed me your music and I, I dug that too. Um, and then I, I remember I was there for when you played your show and I we, we kind of shared a bill together at Wonder Room. Yeah, yeah, we played, did. played with your kind of, uh, your personal whole thing and you have yeah. fever rest as well right so yeah. and fever rest is where you're kind of uh you're part of the songwriting process right yes yeah, yeah it's very much very drummery mm-hmm. so how this affects his music is basically i wanted to when i listen to his songs they are very chill like he said right. um but you know i knew he wanted to bring the live show uh everything more into attention the dynamics especially mm-hmm. so i basically i just thought well how is the what is the easiest way to bring dynamics into it? What is the easiest way to emphasize the chorus or like make the verse kind of die down a little bit, mm-hmm. you know? And so um, I basically just work on the parts that he already has, but just kind of make them a little more, I hate to say it, but rock, <laughs> you yeah. know, like a yeah, little more, right. like less simply more like live. Gives it yeah. more of that punch up, takes it out of uh, the sereneness yeah. to a degree, but gives it that pop actually. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. You're looking for. yeah definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I think just the characteristics of live drums too definitely yeah. changes the sound. Absolutely, yeah. And yeah, you yeah. do a good job with it, but uh, it's it's kind of like I've always pretty much worked with drum machines for most of my stuff. Lately, I've started incorporating live drums more, but it's mostly like cymbals rather than like a full drum kit. That's only on like uh-huh. I have a song on on something new that that's all drums, but like uh, in the past, it had been hard to record that because I don't record everything with like fancy stuff so it, it's hard to get like a good drum sound i don't have the 
the mics for a that, good you drum know? Kit. Yeah. yeah. A good drum yeah. kit or the mics for it. Yeah. And both of those are expensive. Exactly. 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 It's hard to get a really good People drum do sound. not realize how expensive music production is. And oh, yeah. everybody just Incredibly. thinks that the second you post something, it's like, oh, why don't you just get a live band? Yeah. You've got the money for it. It's like, no, yeah. even exactly. a cheap yeah. sample is yeah. $50. Scared to drum. touch most things in this room. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Right. <laughs> the majority of the things that we are recording on, I'm praying that mm. there's never a moment where I'm like, oops. And then yeah, like, yeah, exactly. snaps. And then I'm like, I can't afford it. And all to miss where it's always in. 